What's going on everybody? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ricky Somborn and today we're gonna learn how to play The Way You Look Tonight by Frank Sinatra on the good old uke. <laughs> As always with every ukulele tutorial, I will include a skip to section right here where you can either skip to the chords or the strumming if you don't want to sit through an entire 10 minute video. I totally get it, I totally understand, but if you did, I'd love you forever. Also what I do want to note is that the full play along will be linked in the description below and in the top of the comments and that video consists of me strumming and singing the entire song with the chords and lyrics on screen so definitely check that video out after you watch this tutorial and it's a super easy play along because everything's on screen and the entire chord sheet will be linked in the description below as well you can copy and paste it keep it for yourself and that chord sheet has the chord right above the word so you know exactly when to change chords but with all that said and done let's go ahead and learn the chords that we need for this song all right so let's learn these chords as always i will include a visual representation of where you need to put your fingers on the uke for each chord i feel like it helps a lot when you can visually see it and have me talk you through it it's like a double whammy so let's talk about the first chord which is going to be the a chord and how we're going to play this one is you're going to take your pointer finger and you're going to place it on the third string first fret then you're going to take your middle finger and place it on the fourth string second fret, and it should sound like this. The next chord that we need is the A minor seven chord, and this one is super easy because you're not gonna put your fingers on the strings. It's gonna be open string, and it's just gonna sound like this. next chord that we need is the A7 chord and how we're going to play this one is you're going to take your middle finger and you're going to place your middle finger on the third string first fret and it should sound like this. The next chord that we need is the B7 chord and how we're going to play this one is you're going to take your pointer finger and go over all four strings on the second fret. Then you're going to take your middle finger and place it on the third string, third fret, and it should sound like this. The next chord is the B minor 7 chord, and how we're going to play this one is, you're going to take your pointer finger and go over all four strings on the second fret, and it should sound like this. The next chord is the C7 chord and how we're going to play this one is you're going to take your middle finger and you're going to place your middle finger on the first string, which is the bottom string, first string, first fret, and it should sound like this. The next chord that we need is the D chord and how I play this one is you're going to take your pointer finger and you're going to go over the top two strings on the second fret. Then you're going to take your middle finger and place it on the second string, second fret. So you're occupying the fourth, third, and second string on the second fret. And it should sound like this. Awesome. The next chord that we need is the E minor 7 chord. And how we're going to play this one is you're going to take your pointer finger and place your pointer finger on the third string, second fret. Then you're going to take your middle finger and place it on the first string, second fret. So you kind of have these like fang things and it just goes kick, kick. So make sure to remember for the E minor 7 is the fangs. Kick, kick. And again, they go on the third string, second fret and first string, second fret. And it should sound like this. The next chord is the F chord and how we're going to play this one is you're going to take your pointer finger and you're going to place your pointer finger on the second string first fret. Then you're going to take your middle finger and place it on the fir uh, fourth string second fret and it should sound like this. And last but definitely not least, the G minor 7 chord and how we're going to play this one is you're going to take your pointer finger and you're going to go over the bottom two strings, which is the first and second string on the first fret. 
Then you're gonna take your middle finger and place it on the third string, second fret, and it should sound like this. So those are all the chords that we need for this song. As always, if you do need a little bit more extra time, make sure to press the pause button right now, rewind to whatever section or chord that you need a little bit more time on once the chords sound crisp and clear. Then press play, and now let's talk about how we're gonna play the song with the strumming coming up next. All right, so we just learned the chords. Now let's talk about how we're gonna play this song with the strumming. I'm gonna teach you three different ways. The first way is gonna be for the true beginner who's like, Ricky, I absolutely love this song. I just got the chords down, but I can't add strumming. I don't wanna add it. Please simplify it. Just, just make it the simplest you can do it. I got you. So the first way is just going to be with a down strum. So whenever you see a chord change, just strum down. sound just as awesome and again to remind you that the full play along does have the entire lyrics and chord on screen and also in the description I have the entire chord sheet so you can copy and paste it keep it for yourself and you know exactly when the chords are gonna show up right above the word which makes it so easy to just strum down so the second way that we can play this song is going to be with a strumming pattern and that strumming pattern is going to be a down down up up down so you're gonna play that strumming pattern once for every chord. So it can be like. And it's just gonna go uh, throughout the entire song. And again, the strumming pattern is just going to be a down, down, up, up, down. You do that strumming pattern once for every chord and you'll be solid. And the last way that we can play the song is going to be a little bit different and actually how I played it in the full play along, which is going to be a pluck, tap, pluck, tap. So again, you're gonna do that. Pluck, tap, pluck, tap. So you can do that uh, sequence once for every chord. So you can go D, pluck, tap, pluck, Tap, B minor seven, pluck, tap, pluck, tap, E minor seven, pluck, tap, pluck, tap, A seven, pluck, tap, pluck, tap. So if I just hum the, th uh, the song with the uh, playing, it's going to be, So that is kind of gonna how it sound. Obviously you can sing it with you. And again, the entire play along is live. So make sure you go check that out. But I really like how it sounds with the pluck, tap, pluck, tap. It kind of just strips it down and just, I don't know, it just makes it sound cool. And I love how the play along came out. So definitely go check that out again. And again, that plucking is just going to be pluck, tap, pluck, tap. And when I'm plucking, I'm plucking all four strings. So pluck, tap, pluck, tap, and I'm tapping on the uke. You can do pluck, tap, pluck, tap, if you wanna do it louder. It really depends on how you wanna do it, but those are the three different ways you can play the song on the uke. All right, so we learned the chords and the three different ways you can play the song. Congratulations, you now know how to play The Way You Look Tonight by Frank Sinatra on the good old uke. As always, if you did like this video, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button below and the bell notification to be notified every single time I upload a video right here on YouTube. Also, I do wanna give a shout out and thank you to you for clicking on this video. I know there's a billion, gajillion, gajillion, trillion videos that you can watch on YouTube and you decided to click on this good old video. So thank you so much for all the support. This year has been absolutely bananas. 
We've reached finally over 50,000 subscribers, which is such a huge number. I never actually thought that we would get here, but we are here, we are strong. So thank you so much for all the support. I truly can't thank you enough. And if you're anything like me, when you're watching a ukulele video, you're like, dude, what uke are you playing? It looks and sound amazing. I'll tell you, this is an Enya Tenor Ukulele. It has cherry blossoms uh, flowers on the headstock, and it's just a beautiful looking uke. This is a solid mahogany tenor size uke. This uh, uke is also available in concert size, so if that is more your taste, more your style, a little bit smaller, it does come in concert size, and it has a really cool design around the sound hole, and it's just all around a really beautiful sounding uke. I highly recommend this one. If you're in the market for a new concert or tenor size solid mahogany uke, this one would definitely be a great choice. I'll leave a link in the description below to the Amazon page where you can get in more information and also get this uke if you want to. So thank you so much for watching this video. I truly can't thank you enough. We also do have merch uh, on this channel if you wanna support, link will be in the description. And if you get some merch, and you wanna share it off and show it off, you can follow me on Instagram. I will always be reposting and retagging and just uh, loving seeing your guys' posts. And if you do learn a song from any of the uh, videos that I posted on this channel and you wanna share it out with all the Uke fam, you can do that. Tag me on Instagram and I will share it out to all 56,000 Instagram family members, which is absolutely bananas that we've hit 56,000 on Instagram. So yeah, thank you so much for all the support. I truly can't thank you enough. It really means a lot to me that you guys are here and you guys enjoy these videos. So again, thank you. I love you. Uh, and thank you so much for all the support. Anyways, I love you. I hate to leave you, but I'll see you in my next video. Bye.